This is a very sad moment, guys. I'm about to take the very last bite of my Starbucks cake pop, and it was so good. I'm gonna really just soak in the moment. Ready? Mm. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kayla, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning my room with you guys and also taking down all of my Christmas stuff because, you know, as much as I love Christmas, I've been celebrating it since literally October and so I'm kind of ready for just like a fresh start. I'm ready to bring in the new year with a clean room, out with the old, in with the new. I'm ready for this. I'm currently staring at Santa Claus and snowman stickers all over my windows and it just... I don't know how to explain it. You know that feeling when like a holiday is over, it's over and done with, and you're just like very, very eager to get a fresh start? It's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Also, we will be cleaning my room today. It is a huge mess right now. Like, girl, it's making me feel so uneasy because I cannot thrive unless my workspace is clean. So we are going to be tackling this disaster together today, as well as doing some organizing and fun, satisfying things things like that. So I hope that you guys are ready for this because without further ado, we are about to get straight into it. So let's begin. So I can tell you which area of my room is bugging me the most right now, okay? Let me just take the camera and give you guys a little look-see. Oh, did I really just say that? Oh, pretend I didn't. All right. So this spot right here has been driving me nuts. Right in front of my mirror, I have all of this Christmas stuff and it's not that I don't like this Christmas stuff, it's just that I haven't taken the time to put this stuff away in their proper places. Like every time I go to see if my outfit is on fleek, I'm distracted by that, like I can't see my shoes. I have to go like this in order to see if my shoes match. So, um, let's tackle this first. So, <laughs> if I were a trash bag. This isn't a trash bag, it's actually a gift bag. This was from a grab bag gift exchange that I had with my coworkers. So, ah, I love this blanket. It's from Victoria's Secret and it has stars all over it and I'm just like obsessed with it. It's so comfy. Um, so I will probably put this on my bed eventually but my bed is actually not even made right now. So for right now, I'm just gonna fold it up and put it in my closet. Um, what else is in here? I have this sparkly red Starbucks cup. See, this video right now isn't even me cleaning. It's literally me just like rediscovering my Christmas gifts. So, love this sparkly red Starbucks cup. Oh, it's a Starbucks gift card. I'm so glad I did that. I forgot that was in there too. I'm gonna put this in my purse. Um, yeah, you guys get it. It's just gifts and candy and all kinds of other crazy things. So, I'm gonna start putting this stuff into their proper places, starting right now. Okay, that was unnecessary. I don't want to throw this golden bag away. I just don't want to. It's golden for crying out loud. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. See, this is why I have so much junk because I save things that you should throw away, but I just can't, I can't part with it. Serious question, where should I put my candy? Because I have all this candy. I think I'm gonna put it in my closet because I have a little designated area in my closet for like food that I don't wanna share with anybody. So maybe I will give you a sneak peek of that or maybe not, um, I don't know. Oh, take five gum. I need to open this and put a pack in my purse because I will never remember I have it unless I put a pack in my purse. Let's go put this stuff in my messy closet. Girl, we're gonna put it right up with my bunny fruit snacks. Oh, that's a high reach. Yep. So now we have chocolate, Swedish fish, popcorn, all kinds of stuff. It's my stash, my secret stash. Any more candy? Oh, Swiss Miss. Swiss, Swiss Miss. Another one in the baskets. Can touch this. Okay, so I got these as like a little Christmas gift, but I didn't eat them fast enough, so I need a garbage can. I just got this empty Target bag, and this is gonna be our little mini trash bag, okay? Trash. Oh, my cake pop. Oh, there's actually like a half bite left. Mmm. Now it's garbage. video for me if 
ahead and find one of these babies. What is this? Oh! <coughs> That's probably awfully rude of me. But I got this candle from somebody. Seriously, no offense to the person that got this for me, but... Woo! This candle smells like... It smells like an old lady who's sitting at a theater who's wearing tons of perfume and who hates waiting in line to go to the bathroom and she has fake fruits in her living room. That's what it smells like. I honestly want to throw this away. Should I? I feel kind of bad, but... If anybody wants this old lady candle, comment below. It smells so bad, but I'm going to rename this candle. It's actually called Judith Spain, the old woman. Mm. Okay, so this is like a, it looks like a proper napkin that you would use at a restaurant. Um, I don't even know where this came from, but I think I'm gonna save it because I'm very proper. Oh, this actually smells good. It's a bar of soap. So for any Christmas things that I find, like Christmas decorations, I am just going to put them in a storage box. Um, but yeah, this stocking, for example, obviously I'm not throwing it away, but for right now I'm placing it to the side until I get a box. What is this? Oh, they're socks! They're so cute. I'm gonna put these in my sock bin, which just so happens to be sitting right here because I could not find a matching pair of socks this morning. Um, I need to go buy more. Oh, these are so cute! I forgot that I got these. So, um, Callie, the little girl I babysit for, she got me like a little get well gift since I was in the hospital last week. Um, if you wanna hear the whole story on that, I have a story time all about it. But anyway, she gave me these, so I'm going to go put these with my lip smackers. put these cups downstairs because I'm never gonna use them if they're sitting up here also I made a fun little discovery okay look right behind my mirror what do we have here Ew! an old cold coffee mm, there's like a white thing in there that's disgusting I'm gonna go put all this stuff in the kitchen all right guys, so that mess that was in front of my mirror is now clean and I'm very happy about it. You know, it's no wonder I can't walk in my closet because I save things that you're supposed to throw away. But I just really love this golden sack of nothing. So I'm gonna fold it up and I'm putting it in my closet and maybe one day I will part with it. But for right now, I am going to be a hoarder and I'm gonna keep it, okay? Okay, girl. Now these socks, oh my gosh, your girl needs to go get some new socks. You wanna hear a funny story? Actually, it's not even funny, it's rather sad. So I was babysitting, and the one little boy I was babysitting, he goes, I love your socks, Miss Kayla. And I was like, aw, thank you. And I looked, and there were literally holes in them. Like, my big toe was poking out, and I'm like, this is, this is sad. There's no reason why I can't buy myself new socks. Like, it's just not something you're like, oh, let's go buy some socks, you know? So anyway, um, all right, I'm gonna throw this sock away. Like, goodbye. Wow, this is really quite sad. Um, but yeah, none of these socks even match, and they're just so, they need to, ugh. Honestly, after this video, I'm going to Target and I'm buying myself some new socks because I have no excuses why I can't do that. I'm gonna put this away and then also pajamas. I guess I was just lazy this morning and didn't want to properly put them away. Let's move on to this small little section right here. Okay, usually I keep my Christmas decorations. I think I am just going to throw this away because I could always get new stuff and it's shedding everywhere. So we're gonna say bye-bye to this. It was only a dollar. And then 
this, this stuff right here, all these clothing items, I'm actually returning all of this stuff. I got it for Christmas and it just didn't work for me. So I have to return this. Honestly, I think I'm gonna end up putting that pile in my car so that, you know, I don't forget to return it because I keep forgetting I have it. We can just put this off to the side. We have some unopened lip balms. All right, one thing we are definitely going to have to do before I end this video is sweep my floor because look at it. Do you guys see how messy it is? It's all confetti. Now we are moving on to the next section of my bedroom, which is my collection corner. Um, so I have a bag of scrunchies right here because I was trying to find a good scrunchie to wear today. And I think I got sidetracked because I actually never ended up picking one out. Um, I also thought I'm going to be filming a video with scrunchies, so that's off topic. But I'm going to put these away for right now. So they're in this pink bag. Whoops. Um, and I usually keep my scrunchies like underneath my vanity. So I'm going to go put these over there. And then... These right here are lip zest orders that I have to ship out today. Um, there's not very many of them, but I'm going to use this Bath & Body Works bag and um, that is how I will transport them. We have some unopened lip balms in this bag right here. I mean, there's just so many and I'm actually going to continue keeping them in here. Um, yeah, I don't really mind it sitting there. I organized my lip balms, by the way guys, I don't know if you could tell or not, but I'll have a video all about that coming very soon. Now we have to make my bed and we also have to take down my Christmas tree and come to think of it, there's a lot of Christmas decorations that I need to take down before we move on to my bed. Oh, there's that old lady candle. I really did throw it, guys. I don't know what to do with it. I really, really don't. Oh, so much better. I'm gonna take these jingle jingle bells down. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. We gotta take down this. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. It's the season to be jolly. And be thankful for. Ow, my back hurts. I can put this crown back up. Here we go. Now let's take care of this hot mess express. All right, so I'm gonna sit down, get comfy. We have a box of tissues, and I just, this does not match my aesthetic. That blue box of tissues. It's just, no. I, I'm gonna put it downstairs or something because I'm not like sick right now and I really don't want them just like cramping my style. So I'm gonna put these right here for right now. We have my AirPods that I have not opened up yet. So we're just gonna place that there. This is Christmas. Oh, this is my morning coffee actually. It says all I need is coffee and makeup. Literally, yes. Here's my coffee and here's my makeup. And I'm a happy Kayla. All right, put this right here. Um. This is my little journal for like planning lip zest collections and videos. So um, I usually keep this up here, but I think I'm gonna slip it inside. Oh, don't even pay attention to these drawers. They're a whole nother story. Here's my literally lip zest mug. I'm gonna put my lip zest inside of it. There we go. Um, stay fabulous, guys, stay fabulous. This tape and these scissors, I'm just gonna slide right inside of here. Pretend that that's not a junk drawer. Oh, a pink diamond. Let's hang it up. So the only Christmassy thing over here is this pink tree. 
Um, not gonna lie though, I don't really want to put this away. It's a pink sparkly crown. It doesn't even look like Christmas. So I'm just gonna put it here for right now until I find a place for it. Oh, so much better. Now we have to take down this Christmas tree. Um, I don't even know how to do that. I didn't put this up. My mom actually helped me. So I hope it doesn't fall on me. I'm a little scared. Mom, my little elf. I'll see you next year, pal. I guess I should take down all the decorations first. I'm the Grinch. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Ready? I'm gonna act like him too. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are an eel. You're as cuddly as a... It won't come off. This literally won't come off. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. You nauseates me, Mr. Grinch. With that nasty and super nast. You're a crooked jerky jockey and you drive a crooked horse, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 95 and a half foot pole. You're a rotter. I think I'm just repeating choruses now. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm gonna see if I could recite the whole entire Grinch movie, like the cartoon version. We'll see how far I get, ready? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Every Who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch that lived just north of Whoville did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask me why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Day hating the Who's. Staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the low lighted windows below in the town. For every who girl in, I can't think of the next part, but I'm just gonna guess. For he knew every who girl and boy would wake bright and early and they'd rush for their toys. And then, oh, the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing I hate. All the noise, 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 noise. And the hanging the stockies, he said with a scowl. I must stop Christmas from coming. But how? Then the Grinch got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch had a wonderful, awful idea. Okay, I forget what comes after that, but that was pretty good. About you know, around the Christmas tree. I'm not entirely sure what was in my coffee this morning, but girl. So I pretty much got off all of the decorations. The only thing that I didn't get off is this purple stuff, but honestly it's flaking everywhere and I don't think I'm going to use it next year anyway, so I am just going to, I don't even care. Like I'm not going to try to get it off all nice and gently because I'm over it. So now I'm going to attempt to take this Christmas tree apart and I'm really scared. Oh wait, there's lights on here. Should I take the lights off first? No, I'm just going to, I don't even know. Do you untwist? Like, how do I do this? Oh no. Now I'm really the Grinch. Ready? I'm gonna tiptoe up the tree just like he did. Oh no, it's gone! Oh no, it fell apart, guys! Girl, I'm not kidding. Look! Look! Okay, so I was, you know, tiptoeing out with it like the Grinch, and then this happened. That's what's supposed to happen. It looks like it's dead. I'm gonna go put this 
down in my basement until next year. Now what we are left with is fan mail and a Christmas tree skirt. So I'm going to, oh my gosh, look at this mess. <laughs> What's driving me the craziest right now are like all of these little things and like the confetti and oh, just all of that little mess on the floor. So we're definitely gonna sweep, um, but I'm gonna fold up this little Christmas tree skirt until next year. I will be sweeping this corner, but until I do, I gotta make my bed. Anyways guys, the last thing that I have to do is just take down my snow globes and my candy dish and any other Christmassy related thing that is by my cubic organizer. So let's get to work. Ooh, I love this so much. It says, yes girl, yes. I am not going to take this down just because, I don't know, the gold and the white actually kind of matches my room and it looks cute for New Year's. So guys, I officially just cleaned up all of the things that were making my room cluttered. All my Christmas decorations are down. So the only thing I have to do now is take down my bin of Christmas room decor and then I have to sweep and then we'll be good. So let's finish this up. The Grinch strikes again. Taking out the trash, taking out the trash, taking out the trash at night. Comment below if you know what that's from. guys we are officially done cleaning my room and getting out all of my Christmas decorations I feel like a new human being I just feel like I could get more accomplished now and I didn't even realize how much that mess was contributing to me procrastinating things like I swear when my nails are done and whenever my room is clean and when I have coffee I can just conquer more it's amazing but anyways I hope that you all enjoyed watching this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and maybe this will inspire you to go clean up your room because I swear it just makes you feel better so I highly encourage you to do it um, just because it's a new year new fresh start new clean room and oh, I'm like really hot right now so I'm going to go take a break and start editing this video and hang out with my little birdie lucky but I love you all so so much thank you again for watching I love you I love you I love you and I will talk to you in my next video bye